Hi friends, guess who? And this is short here to read you a really cute, not too long story. And it's called Good Night Owl. And it says here that the author, whose name is Greg, now there's two ways I think you can say it, Pizzoli or Pizzoli. And the reason why I said Pizzoli is because that's the name of the town in Italy where my mom was born, because she was born in Italy, in Italy and then came to America. So when I looked at that name, I thought I have to read the book just because it reminds me of the town that my mom was from. But he's an award-winning author and illustrator. So sit back. Maybe your mom is letting you listen to this right before you go to sleep. Hopefully you won't fall asleep as I try to read it very calmly. Good night, Owl. Let's see if he dedicates it to anyone. He does. He dedicates it to someone called Susan Viguers. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Howell was settling into bed when he heard a noise. Squeak. It was a tiny sound, no louder than a whisper, a funny noise he hadn't heard before. Someone must be at the door, said Owl. Just a minute. But no one was there. Probably the wind, said Owl. As he lay down in bed and said good night to himself, good night, Owl. Squeak! Then he heard the noise again. It's coming from the cupboard, said Owl. So he went to take a look. He emptied every shelf, but there was no noise to be found. So Owl went back to bed. Good night, Owl, he said. Then he heard the noise. Squeak. It must be under the floor, said Owl. And he pulled up the floorboards one by one. But he didn't find the noise. So he went back to bed. Squeak. This house has a noisy roof, said Owl. And he took down the roof. There, said Owl. No more noise. Owl got back into bed. The stars and the moon shining down where the roof used to be. Good night, Owl, he said. But Owl didn't close his eyes. He didn't dare. He knew that any second he would hear the noise. So he waited and waited and waited, and waited. Squeak. 
It's in the walls. Owl screeched. I'll get you noise, Owl said, as he tore down the walls of the house. But he found nothing. The cupboard was empty. The floorboards were pulled up. The roof was pulled down and the walls were gone. And Owl went back to bed and he said, Good night. Good thing I moved my thumb. I was covering up the noise. And then he saw the noise. Squeak. Owl smiled. He said, Good night, noise. And then he went to sleep. Can you see? He had a, a lot of work, so he went to sleep. And now the noise is saying, Shh. It's a boys and girls. I hope you have a good night, sleep. Don't tear the roof off or anything else of your house. Put your head on your pillow and sleep well. And I'll see you next time.